Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, I'm sitting in McDonald's right now. Uh, they close in about an hour, or a little less. Um, back in the neighborhood with the people who had me locked up for not hitting them. Petra is very sick. She's got whatever I got, I guess, even though I didn't see her while I had it, but maybe, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a rough flu where a lot of people are getting it. Um, for some reason, my phone won't upload videos anymore unless it's connected to Wi Fi. I don't know why. I guess they don't want me telling my story too easily. Thank God that Wi Fi works still, so I can pop into McDonald's and upload or whatever. Use the bathroom, that's always nice. Um, I have such a headache. You know, I've noticed that these videos have gone from, over time, me trying to figure out what was going on, to me trying to explain to other people my experience and what I thought they should know about what was happening and what was going to happen, how it happens, and to me basically just talking about how difficult it is to survive as a targeted individual and my personal problems, emotions, feelings, uh, all that stuff. Um, I guess that's appropriate, you know. Uh, I know that, that just complaining and complaining, oh, this hurts, that hurts, this is blah, 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 that isn't the most interesting stuff for many of you. Uh, except for those of you who are going through the same thing and say, oh my goodness, that's what happened to me. That's valuable. Um, I don't know, I'm just really feeling low, low, not a whole lot of energy, very sick, I had some chicken soup, I had some vitamin C, I'm trying to get my other medicine so I can rest and not throw up too much, and uh, always wondering, you know, if God created me and us and sustains everything, you know, then what is all this suffering about? Why do we all suffer so much? Does it have anything to do with God? Because he's in control of everything? In which case, suffering would be his, you know, choice for us also. Uh, punishment for something? You know, what's really going on? You walk into, uh, you know, any place where people are sick and dying and look at them and say, you're all being punished, it's karma, it's this, it's that, the reason you have cancer is blah blah blah. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. I do not understand any longer. That's the problem. That's what's happened. They've removed my, although it was an illusion, my illusory understanding of how the world works and my place in it, <laughs> I've like lost that, you know, I've lost the illusory understanding. And I've noticed that this is a time of cognitive dissonance and information warfare. First I tell you it's good, then I tell you it's bad, then I tell you figure it out for yourself. So, it's either good or bad, something you made up for yourself, or you deny the entire thing exists. I see it in every program, every show. Where are we going with this? Well, we're going to have a group of people that is either going to uh, believe what you tell them, going to deny what you tell them, going to make up a story to understand what you tell them, or they're going to believe that the whole thing isn't even real. I'm losing track of what I'm saying. That's the other thing that's happening besides the sickness is my memory is going. I'm losing things, uh, misplacing things. You know, not, uh, when you're losing your memory, having a stable place to live in the same place where you put things all the time and a routine and all that stuff is really important for Alzheimer's people without memory little notes you leave to yourself, you know, routines. And when you're living nowhere and working out of a storage locker and hanging out in the street and fighting targeting and 
getting old and sick and dying while trying to survive, it gets hard to remember things because nothing is a routine anymore, nothing is in the same place anymore, nothing is... Uh, so I feel really bad for the people who have Alzheimer's enough to know that they have it, but not enough to forget that they have it. Supposedly, if you have really bad Alzheimer's, every day is like your birthday. Every day is like a party. Every movie, every show, everything you see is new. It's like being a child again. Which, I guess that sucks, but I guess that's the way it is. The thing about this is I believe that it's a, a, a factory, a factory, you know, it's a made disease. It's designed, it's part of the, the thing. They don't want anybody to remember what it was like before. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. The other scary thing is looking at myself, watching myself grow old so rapidly, and deteriorating so rapidly. I barely recognize myself. You know, in the right light, I still look almost okay, but in the bright uh, light of day, it's like, what the heck happened to you, guy? And, um, you know, when it happens rapidly, when it happens slowly over time, you, you have a sense of getting used to it. You look at yourself, you see the wrinkles, you know, getting wrinklier, and over time, over years, over, not over months, you know? Um, me, it's over months, the course of two, three years, and I've aged 20 years. So, that's about all I can think of right now. Thanks for listening. I'm grateful for everything. And uh, God bless you all. Thanks.